carefully. Right, we are live on Monday morning, Monday the 30th of March. It's our second primary one to three only art lesson. But I know that we've got some primary four to sevens joining us as well because we've got Alex sitting here today. Alex, you want to give everyone a wave? Hi. That's Alex's hand. <laughs> yeah. Harris, should we see your hand? Where's your hand? Harris, Harris has got a bit camera shy again today, so normally the day that I would be teaching you, it's my infant day on a Monday. So thank you for joining me instead on this. Hello, Mr. Spears. Um, if you are primary four to seven, you're more than welcome as well. Today's lesson is quite quite straightforward, it's not the trickiest, and I don't think it'll last very long. I think it'll only last about 30 minutes. It depends how much blathering I do at the beginning. Um, also, good morning, Alex, put the water away, please, and stop making some background noise. Also, good morning to any other boys and girls from other schools. Maybe you're from Abernethy. Got some Abernethy boys and girls. Maybe you are from another school, like RDM or something else. So, good morning to everybody. Right. <laughs> Kids are crazy today. I feel that we're all struggling with the clock change. Well, that's definitely happening. Right, just going to wait for a few more people to join us and then I am going to get started. Being silly. There might also be some teachers joining us, so best behaviour boys and girls, and there's definitely some mummies and daddies taking part as well who also might be watching. Um, I'm going to apologise now because I don't think my children are in the best mood today and I think that in a second I'm going to ask one of them to leave the room if he continues his behaviour. Last week lots of you mentioned how brilliant my kids were and how well behaved they were but today I don't quite think it's going to go so well. Right, go and put the water away now and come and sit down. Sorry everybody. Sit down on your bottom. We want to be here, do you, yes or no? Yeah. Right, behave then, otherwise you're going away, you're spoiling this experience for your brother. Your day's tomorrow, not today. Okay. Right, boys and girls, let's get started. Oh, hello, hello, nice to see you. Nice to see you. I'm not sure. We're still not 100% sure if I can say names. Um, nobody's got back to me from P&K. So if I don't mention your name, that doesn't mean that I don't see you. So hello to everybody that is watching. And as I'm going to do, I'm going to be keeping an eye on Alex. I'm going to be keeping an eye on what Harris is doing. And I'm going to be trying to create my masterpiece here in front of me as well. So if I don't read your comments straight away, I'll try my best to catch up later on. Right, Granny's watching. Hi. Granny's watching. And we've got a, a young lady from RDM. I love that name. The name that she's called. I was going to call Mirren that name. But we called her Mirren instead. But that's one of my favourite names for a girl. Right, let's get started. So, we today are going to be using this painting here as an inspiration. This is a very, very famous painting. You've probably seen this in books, calendars. You've probably also done an art lesson based on this. When I go around schools, I always see a version of this up on the wall. So this called Kandinsky. Boys, can you say that name? Kandinsky. 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 Well done, well done. <laughs> this is by a gentleman called Kandinsky. He's a very, very famous painter. <laughs> Put an internet connection. I'm just going to wait they were back. The simple name for this is 12 Circles. Why do you think it's called 12 Circles, boys? Because there's 12 Circles. Because there's 12 Circles. No, there's not 12 Circles. There's 12 boxes with 12 circles. So okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's okay? Three, five, six, but six, 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 six. from what I've seen over the last couple of weeks from the blossom pictures, from the rainbow pictures, I don't think I'm dealing with your average primary 1 to 3 children. I think I am dealing with children that are much more advanced and much more clever. So I'm going to give you the big grown up title for this painting. The big grown up title for this painting, Harris. It's called Concentric, concentric. Circles. Well done, you managed to say that. Concentric Circles, okay? Concentric Circles. Right, oh. I'm going to test you, the people that are watching, to come up with a word that you think... Well, don't ask mummies and daddies to help you, don't cheat. <laughs> well, I'm about to do that lesson, Mrs Wilson. 
Um, I would like you to answer me what you think the word concentric might mean. Don't go on Google. Don't ask mummies and daddies. Just come up with one word to describe what you think concentric might mean. Um, Harris, what do you think concentric might mean? Um, 12 circles. 12 circles. Okay. So Harris thinks concentric, um, we know what circles mean. He thinks that the word concentric means 12. Alex, what do you think the word concentric might mean? I don't know. You don't know? No. Let's see, has anyone put anything up? Nobody's put anything up yet. Nobody's put up an answer. So you've got time to think of an answer, Alex. Sit down on your bottom, please. Wait, okay. It's Mrs. Jackson. Granny's um, guide friend. And that's Mrs. Wilson, who's one of my old friends. Right, Sophie is going to give this a go this morning. So, Fiona Stewart says circular. So the word concentric might mean circular. So that would mean, if we put that into Google Translate, circular. the painting would mean circular circles. Okay, so we've got circular. Harris thinks 12. That's the only answers we've had so far. Sophie, can you give me an answer? <gasps> Jude, <laughs> hello. Jude thinks it means really big. So he thinks that Kandinsky actually means really big circles. Jackson thinks it means a pattern. Well done, Jackson. Jackson thinks it might mean circles that make a pattern. Okay, could be right there, Jackson. Pattern. Sit down, put the water down and sit down. Sorry, everybody, I am having a nightmare with Alex today. Right, last thing, <gasps> Lily. Lily's got it, you know. Lily's got it. So Lily says circles that get smaller, and she's right. It means, in this case, in Kandinsky's case, a circle, a circle that gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. It's so almost like a target. So if I said to you today we're going to make a concentric square, it would make squares that got smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. If I said concentric triangle, triangles that get smaller. If I said concentric heart, then yes, it would mean they would get smaller and bigger. Well done to Elaine Ewan, small and large circles. Okay, so today we are going to, we're not going to do 12, we're going to do one each. And what I'm hoping is, you will then send me a photo of your circle and I will try, using my ICT skills, to compile them together to make a 12 circle Kandinsky version. How does that sound? So I'm going to look for, from all of you, one circle each, we're going to compile them together, see how many, I might end up with a few versions here of the Kandinsky 12 circles. Okay, so let's check for our materials. You should have in front of you now a piece of paper. I've gone for square, the boys have got square as well, but it doesn't matter what type of paper you've got. It doesn't matter the colour, it doesn't matter the size, it doesn't even matter if it's a square or not. Put your paper down please, Al. The next thing that ideally you want to have are a variety of paintbrushes. I've got for Harris and myself a thick and a thin one. And for you as well, Alex, obviously. And also some paints. Now we're using the tempera paints, the circle ones. We get these in school all the time and this is my set here that we use quite a lot in the house. They're a little bit like watercolours, but the colours are much, much stronger. And there's a tip to when you're using these that I'm going to show you in a second. Right. Alex, Harris, you got your paper? Yeah. You've got a paintbrush, Alex? Yeah. There you go. Excellent. Right, what I want you all to do first of all, is just with your finger just now, not with the paintbrush, is point to the centre, the middle of your yeah. paper. Yeah. Well done, boys. Well done. That's where you're going to put your first circle. Okay, and remember, you're only using three colours. My huge recommendation, Mrs C's recommendation this morning, is not to use black as one of your colours. We're going to use black later in the lesson for part two, but don't use it at the beginning. Okay, black. it mixes with your lighter colours, in case you're wondering why, and then it just turns it all into a bit of a muddy mess. So, I'm going to get a little bit of water on my brush, boys. Just you watch what I do just now before you do it, okay? And I'm going to choose my first colour. I'm going to go with the primary colours. What are the primary colours? Yellow. Yellow. Yellow, 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 red, red, and blue. Blue. Hey, that's not going well blue. done. Blue. Well so blue. I'm going to start with one of my primary colours. So I'm wet on my brush. Pardon me. We're going to have a more after this, just to warn you. 
I'm wiggling my brush on top of the red. And what I'm looking for, I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the screen or not, I'm looking for the bubbles. As soon as you can see the bubbles, you know that you've got the right consistency. So in the middle of my page just now, I'm just going to paint a small circle. Okay? Then, boys, just watch this now. So just like that. Not too runny. I'm going to wash my brush quite well in this bowl. I always use bowls in the classroom because if you wiggle your brush too much, which little ones contain to, you end up knocking over a big cup. So if it's a bowl, it won't wobble as much. So I'm going to change colour now. I'm going to go into my blue. Again, I'm looking for the bubbles. Tell me where you can see the bubbles, Harris. Um, bubbles. No. No? Okay, that means it's nice and thick. Right, so not touching the red. <gasps> Liz is watching. Hiya, Liz. You made it. You made it. So not touching the red. Why not touching the red? What will happen if I touch the red? Um, um, you get purple. The curl or a mix. So I leaving a white that. space, so which we'll deal with in step two. And I'm just doing a little brush stroke at a time. Just like if you were sketching. Clumsy just do little lines at a time. If you do one massive circle, if you do one massive circle and you rush it, chances are you're going to get it wrong. So I've just done lots of little lines, almost like you're joining the dots. I'm going to change colour now. I'm going to wiggle into the yellow. Do you want to do your first circle? Yeah. yeah. I have to wash my brush. Well, the paints are quite white because mummy's making wet already. Again, not touching the blue because then you'll end up with green. Leaving a little white space. And I'm doing lots of little lines. I'm not just going chances are it'll end up with an oval, it won't end up a perfect circle. And you're trying to keep that distance the same as you move around the circle. So try and keep the thickness of the white the same. Okay. See that starting to come together? It's got a little bit out of the perfection range there, but we can always aim work on it there. <gasps> Miss Dow's watching boys and girls. Who's that? That's my boss. Oh, yeah. cool. So best behaviour. Morning, Miss Dow. I hope you're well today. Hope you're well. She's observing me. She's in the classroom with observation. Right, remember, bubbles oh. on the paint so it's nice and thick. If it's too runny, it's just going to trickle down. Yeah, darling, that's for you. Yeah. So, Harris, have you got bubbles now? Yeah. Keep going, keep going, get those bubbles on that paint. Don't yeah. go near the green, don't go near the white, don't go near the black, boys. I just want to change the colours. Right, once you've got the bubbles, you know your paint's thick enough. Alex, you've not washed your brush very well. Tell me up. You've turned my, my yellow green. Dun, dun, dun. It's a big what, you're not flicking, uh -oh. Harris? That's okay, sweetie. Right, I'm going to make this fourth circle now a little bit thicker. I don't have very many of these thick paintbrushes because I've given you to them, so I'm just going to do a double line here. Okay, now, if you're like Mrs C and you are now getting towards the edge of your paper, you've got an artistic choice to make. Do you stop when you hit the edge? Or do you imagine, just like Kandinsky does, that your circles keep going? Okay, so do you take your circle so it hits the edge of the paper? That's your artistic decision to make. Okay, well done, Alice. No, you're not starting again, that's perfect. Don't think you start again. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean with this one here. So I'm going to leave a space again. I'm not, my colours are not touching. But if I bump into the edge of the paper... I don't want to change the way my circle goes. Sometimes boys and girls try and squish it in and it loses its perfect circle shape. You're doing a great job, Harris. You're doing a lovely job. That's it, it's nice and bubbly now so you can get going for your second one. Okay, just try and keep, try and keep the space out and do lots of little lines. Now you rushed that. So this time I want you just to do lots of little lines because it might go out of control if you rush it. Okay, Alex, that's lovely. Do you want some little water? Yeah, that's fine. Right. Make the water red. Into blood. <laughs> there might be there might be blood at the end of this. And so there we go. Okay, so for my last circle, I'm gonna imagine that my paper. 
For my next circle, I'm going to imagine my paper's gone a little bit bigger, okay? So if you notice, there's no way I'll be able to get anything beyond that. So when I do my shape, I'm just going to pretend that there's more paper there. That's a challenge for you. That's a big challenge, Harris. That looks lovely. The less water you use with these, the quicker they take to dry. So that's another good reason not to. Looks like I have to go for the green. Yeah, because that looks, somehow this has got a bit messy, hasn't it? I'm sure maybe I've had a bit of kitchen room for our next steps. But don't worry, though. Right, so I'm just going to take one curve there, stop, one curve there, and stop, another curve up there, Alex, come on you, okay. should have really have had the messy mat down, dad's going to freak when he comes home, okay. we're very very lucky our table is um, one of those farmers tables, we're not really very precious with this table, right so step one complete, You see that in shot? Step one complete. So I'm just going to help the boys with theirs and then we will get going with step two. I'm assuming that the rest of you are currently doing the rest of the work and that way I'll get to read some of these messages. Hello, Miss Dow. Really miss seeing your face. Granny's watching. Granny's watching. She says, boys, behave and pay attention, boys. Granny's watching. Granny's watching. You're not getting your pocket. <gasps> You get any pocket money for your robux if you're behaving. Right, so this is an example of what Harris has done. So if you see his circle's touching the edge now, so when it comes to the way to do another circle, what his challenge will be is to imagine that that paper keeps going. Okay? So Harris, when you do your fourth circle, could you get on with your work, please? When you get on with your fourth circle, Harris, pay attention to me. When you do your fourth circle, it won't be able to go there because there's no paper left, so just bring it around that way. Right, Alex, I'm waiting on you before we can move on to the next episode. Rock and roll, please. Hurry up. Okay. Um, what colour are you going now? Blue. Blue? You've got... Ah, I see what you've done there. There's blood on the table. We spoke on Monday about Alex and his perfectionist behaviour, and surprise, surprise, he has done something very perfectionist where he has gone for a pattern. He's gone... Yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue, and he's probably going to go red next. You and I'm taking, to. I'm taking the mick out of this, but I've just realised that I've actually, without even realising it, done exactly the same. Okay. Okay. Harris has done the same no, as well. I told you. The interesting thing is, we all started with a different colour in the middle. I, I went red, you went yeah. yellow, and Harris went blue. No, that's because I thought you were Harris, sorry, I think this paint's have gone a little bit too dry because it can see your brush looks a bit tiny, tiny, just tip, just put a tip. The brush into the water. Oh, are you missed out? Missed out. Um, tomorrow's art lesson for primary four to seven is amazing. You only Hi. need four pens, four felt yeah. pens, and some white paper and some circles to draw around. It's a really easy one. I decided this week that we would keep our lessons a little bit simpler. Last yeah. week the ingredient list was huge, and I'm a bit concerned that lots of parents and families at home don't have the resources that. I seem to accumulate constantly every time I go into hobby craft or one of the arty shops. So yeah, so today's lesson and tomorrow's lesson are much simpler. There's also going to be a wee extra one on Friday that is tying in with the teddy bear trail that Schooner are doing. My little friend Amelia is organising a teddy trail just now and she asked for a teddy bear lesson. So we're going to do a special one on Friday that's a joining session for everyone. So you're more than welcome to do that. Right, watch your spine. Don't worry about it. We can clean the table at the end. Uh, Alex, are you finished? We can move on to step two. We're waiting on Alex. Story of our life. Are you finished? You got enough done now? <laughs> <laughs> Do you need to leave the room? Just one. Do you need to leave the room? No, stop being silly, please. Okay, so next up, we are going to create some patterns, some lines and patterns in the white spaces, not on the coloured ones. Why not on the colour ones, Alex? Hmm? Why are we only adding patterns well, and marks on top of the white and not on the colour? Because it will smudge. Because it will smudge. It will because smudge. the wet paint will still be wet. If you think it's dry, because it, I've been talking quite a long time now, mine has started. So, um, I could technically go on top of the, the dry paint, but I don't recommend it. Now, what we're going to do, I've got a wee sample sheet here for you to see. Because I don't want you to use your brush in the normal way. I want you to experiment a little bit with some of the things that the brush can do. So boys, could you put your brushes down just now and just watch and listen? 
Thank you. And you're going to use the thin brush this time, both of you, okay? I so, again, a thin brush. again, just the tip of the brush into the black. No, I want you to watch and listen just now, Alexander. Wiggling my brush again on that black until there's bubbles. Okay? And here are some of the tips that I want you to do, some techniques. So, don't use the brush like normal. I'm just going to use the side of the brush to get a perfect line. I'll just show you that just now. Perfect. Okay? So all I'm doing, I'll just show you that again. Laying the brush down on its side. The paint will start to run out, so you need to replace that on your brush. Alex, are you watching? Harris, are you watching? No, I am. That's nice, isn't it? Stop it. <laughs> Grounded. Oh, no. <laughs> and life for the rest of the day, if this continues. Okay. He thinks I'm joking, but I'm joking. I know you're not joking. Oh, you're not joking. <laughs> Okay, so, step one, look quite tribal. Now you'll notice when I was doing that, I was actually turning the paper. That will stop it smudging. So, that's just using the paintbrush on its side. Again, tiny tip of the brush into the water. Wiggle that about. This time what I want you to do with the brush is bend it. Okay, so I'll just, I don't know if you can see that, I'll do it as close as I can. This time what I'm doing is I'm bending the brushes and you end up with this perfect triangle shape. Do you see that? It's like a, a bird paw print. A bird paw print. A bird claw print. So I'll show you that again. So you're just going to press the brush down and you end up with that lovely technique. Okay, so that's one thing that you could do. Another thing you could do, this is quite a tricky one to show, but if you put the brush down and you do that effect that I've just done and then turn, while the brush is fanned out like that, turn it round you end up with a circle, okay, which can look quite effective. So you bend the brush down and then you twist your brush round and you end up with a circle. Okay, so that can look quite effective. Change the, change the direction that you do some of those marks. So it might be that you do one up, one down, one up, one down. I'm just gonna show you that again. So twist that round. Perfect circle. Okay, now I'm going to have to continue with my pattern. Boys, do you want to try that one? Slow down, slow down, slow down, you're rushing. So I'm turning my page around. Because if I don't turn my page around, I'm going to have to lean over it. That's lovely. The last thing that you can do with your brush is, this can get quite messy now, is you can fold to the ends of the brush. So use it bottom end of the brush, just for little dots. It's gone very quiet in here, which means that children are concentrating. That's lovely. Harris, what a gorgeous job you're doing. With no! in some circles you could obviously go over the top of some of those circles mm -hmm. um, but as I said earlier just be careful because it might not be dry right I think that's looking okay I'm not happy with this area that's here I didn't space out very well black hole I'm one more black brush stroke it's not going to be symmetrical black hole okay but the black dots look really really nice okay this looks lovely oh it's looks really 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 nice no, you just lay the brush down as well, you'll end up with really, really nice lines. Just try not to bend it when you lay it down. So, here, um, I do I do the triangles again? The triangles? So, put the brush down and bend it. Right. So, go like that. So, like. That's it? Perfect. That's lovely. Eight. Like that. <laughs> I can't wait to see what everyone else is doing right now because we have used the same colours as each other. We're using black on top as our fourth colour. 
our paper's white, so our pictures are looking quite similar. I can't wait to see how everybody else's are going to look at the end it, of this today. Mine's going to look ugly. No, it's not going to look ugly. Yeah, it's going to look beautiful. Mine's going to look bad. That word is banned in this house. Mine's banned. Going what word's banned? Ugly. Mm -hmm. Nothing's ugly. Nothing's ugly. Ugly. Nothing. Ugly. Nothing. Ugly. Nothing. Ugly. ugly. This is ugly. <laughs> Your behaviour's not very really nice. That's the thing. Your behaviour's ugly. Very nice. ugly. <laughs> oh, yeah, that word was banned. Okay. Try and fill up all those white circles that you've got with your <laughs> patterns. Harris, sorry, darling. And I'm just going to go, I've just noticed I've got one white circle left. So what I'm going to do is, I know that this is a special one for Jackson. No, he loves a pattern. So I'm going to go like dot nothing. line. What is it? Dot line. Dot that's getting quite dry, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Black line. Hi, Don. I would say you are. You know where you've, you've accidentally dribbled a black dot? See there? So why don't you turn that into a pattern? So have lots of black dots going the whole way around it. Wow. I can't believe I forgot to tell you all to turn the paper as you're doing this. What a silly, silly teacher I am. I was going to do that. That would have really, really helped you out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a button. And then... <laughs> RDM. Um, I must have been mad back then. I don't know if I would do this as a whole class. It's quite a lot to, to take on board when you're on your own with maybe 20, 25 kids, but it's quite nice to when there's just one or two of you at the table. Can I have one? Harris, are you done? Maybe. Are you happy with that? Can I show it to the boys and girls? Maybe. Maybe. Um, okay. Harris, are you done? Right, so we've got, oh, it's, a bit, it's a bit dribbly. I'm not going to show it just now. I'm going to show it just now, um, so that's mine sort of coming together. Ignore this bit here. I'm just going to put my hand there. <laughs> right, so that is us. Do you want to go and just move for a minute? Boom. Yeah. Love you. Okay, so that is us. We are just about finished. Granny's saying good work, Harris. No, I'm not sending you away. Because you're finished. <laughs> go and wash your hands. Go and wash your hands. <laughs> Peace. Wow. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <Almost>. <laughs> Granny, I can tell the shirt at you right now because you just put Harris on. Right, you can wash your hands, please. Thank you. Right, Alex, can I show your sofa? It's looking really beautiful. I like what you're doing with the, the tips of the brush there. Oh, that looks nice in the middle. So this is Alex as well. It's very else looking really, really, really nice. Daddy's watching right now. Just noticed. Okay, so that is us. Our second art lesson nearly complete. Please remember to send me your pictures of your finished examples and we'll try and put them all together to make one of the Kandinsky 12 circles. Um, so if you imagine, for example, this comes together. So we've got two and then we'll have a nice collage on the go. As per usual, I don't really know what to do next for art. If you have got any suggestions or anything you would like to try, let's go for it. Next week is the Easter break. Ah, let's go wash your hands. Next week is the Easter break. Um, we won't be on holiday anymore, unfortunately. So we will be here at 10 o'clock. That's if I haven't murdered a child by then. As if I've not murdered a child by then. Uh, so I'll be here at 10 o'clock next Monday. I don't know if they'll be here, but I'll definitely be here. So let me know what it is. Do maybe we should do something Easter type, an Easter type lesson. Um, but yeah, thank you for everything. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for all your thank you for all your comments. Um, remember, if there's anything constructive you want to say, please, please, please don't be scared to say it. If there's anything I can do to improve on, or any, I've got poor internet connection anyway. I'm gonna sign off just now. Can't wait to see all your work. Lots of love. Keep safe, keep healthy, and stay at home. Lots of love. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.